say? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I'm tired. I know. Hopefully we're going to wake you up this morning. Well, um, I do have Illy and Grace. They're going to give us the morning wag, weekly wag. So if y'all want to come on over, I'll turn it to you. Yes, give them a warm welcome. So, with, uh, oh, sorry. 
our guest today, um, if you um, have ever been in the Mr. Damian Munoz is with me yesterday.
How was the hunter? Warrior of the approaching prince. Warrior of the approaching prince. That's right. Paul Revere warned of the approaching Brits. All right. All right, next one. Ooh. This one was kind of hard, too.
little bit of screens. All right. So, the next, we're only going to do two more questions, but the next question is the next two are worth two points each. All right. So it's five to two. Ladies can win if they win both questions. Okay, so the next question is, how many total gifts are mentioned in the 12 Days of Christmas song? I was a better musician because of it. 
And so there's a discipline that we can build up in our, in our spiritual lives. So first one, study. All scripture is breathed out by God and profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, and for training in righteousness. Okay, so actually studying the word of God. That means opening it up and reading it, and not just reading it to read a paragraph, but to read it and actually say, okay, what does this mean? What does this say to me? One that kind of ties in with that is study and meditation. The idea of reading something over and over and over until it sinks in. Okay? So there's one. Study. Number two. Pray. Okay? We know this one. But the discipline of prayer, the, the type of prayer that's like every day I'm going to get up at the same time and I'm going to discipline myself to pray today. And sometimes that means finding a psalm or finding a specific prayer that you know is, is true for you to pray every day for a period of time until you see a result, right? That's one of the things about disciplines and anything else we do, whether it's music or study or uh, athletics, we do that discipline until we see results. So pray until you see something happen, okay? Third one, fasting. One that's probably the least common one done today in our culture, okay? Because it means giving something up, <laughs> okay? It means denying yourself of something for a time so that you can grow closer to God. Often it's food. Saying I'm going to fast from a specific food or from all food for a period of time so that in the place of that, I will rely on God for my strength. Okay? So fasting. For confession. Okay? Confession is a discipline. It's something that you have to practice regularly. And in order to do that, one, you confess to God, but you also confess to others. So you need to have people in your life that you trust, that you can go to and say, this is what I'm struggling with. Here's where I've messed up lately. And you confess so that you can repent and get away and walk towards God. Okay, so confession. Worship. Okay, worship is a discipline. It's something that we should, we should work hard at. Worship is a thing that you can actually get better at. It's not just something that we do when someone stands up in front of us and sings. But worship is a way of life and giving glory to God in everything. Um, and it does involve singing, but it also involves the way we live our life. And so living a life of worship, okay? So it's fellowship. Actually hanging out and having fun together is a discipline. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. It's really, really cool, but it's the idea is the right kind of fellowship. They devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and the fellowship, to the breaking of bread and prayer, sharing life that actually, sharing life together, doing things together that actually changes you. It's for a good cause, a good reason. Fellowship centered around the right purpose, okay? Number seven, rest. Man, this is, this is one, like, I think all of us, to some degree, probably struggle with that right now, especially here in this, in our culture, because we, we, we make rest like the lowest priority, um, but, but getting good rest is a discipline. It's something that you have to purposefully say, okay, I'm actually going to go to bed. Like, I'm going to put aside all the electronics, all of the distractions, and I'm actually going to sleep and get a good night's rest. Or even just resting in the sense that, like, man, I have so much going on, but right now I just need to rest in God's presence. I'm going to take just 15 minutes. You know, that, that's another form of discipline of resting, is every now and then just taking that time to recoup. All right, eight, celebration. Something else I don't think that we do very well at, but celebrating, like being excited and saying, this is what God has done. The discipline of remembering and actually saying, claiming, this is what God, God has done in my life, and celebrating with others. Nine, service. This is the one we think of a lot, but, but it's something that we, that we sometimes take for granted, but it's, it's, this is also something that we can work at. The idea of looking around and seeing needs and then meeting those needs. It's very, very simple, one of the simplest disciplines, but it's one that makes us we have to be very cautious of. All right, number 10. Generosity. Okay, pretty simple. Being willing to give away, give up some of the stuff that you have for others. 11. Chastity. Fleeing from sexual immorality. This is one that Paul stresses so hard as, far, as a discipline. That, that it's not just, hey, don't do that, but it's flee, turn and run the other direction. Of all the things that he mentions don't do, of all of the things that are warnings in the Bible, this is the one that has like the strongest turn, flee, run, get away from. It. Okay, so number 11, number 12, last one, disciple making. Okay, participating in the actual mission of the church of God, making disciples. That means you being discipled by someone, but then also you being a discipler of someone else. 
There's always someone that is further along in their walk that you can be walking alongside and helping them grow closer to God. But make sure you have someone that's drawing you closer to God too. So I hope you guys find one of those 12 this week and say, I'm going to do that this week. I'm going to get better at that. I'm going to make that discipline the one that I do every day this week. Let me pray for us. God, we thank you for today. Bless these students. Bless the faculty and teachers here. Let's have a good week. Let's grow closer to you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Seniors.